Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our channel. I am Dr. Hamad Ismail. Today we will talk about the covalent docking without template. In our previous tutorial we talked about a protein which has covalently bonded ligand but in some cases we have a protein but no ligand is present but we want a specific position to be bonded covalently. So in this tutorial we will demonstrate how you can perform covalent docking with a protein which have no template using the Schrodinger software. So let's start. For this tutorial we have selected a crystal protein, crystal structure of GDP bound with the row A protein. It has GDP structure. So we have downloaded the protein with name 6KX2 and our ligand is clotrimazole. First of all, we have created a folder with the name demo on our desktop and now we have opened our Nestro program. Go to the file. First of all, change the working directory. Go to the desktop and select as demo. After this, go to file again, create a new project, uh, name it as a demo and save it then go to file again import the structure in this structure we have two structure one is our protein and other is our ligand open it import the structures the structures are imported this is our protein this protein contain a bound ligand we need to remove this bound ligand delete the item and this also contain solvent water also delete these all these atom now we have the clean protein this is our clean protein go to the protein preparation wizard using the default setting go to the wheel choose maximum number of processor to finish the job quickly and click on the run our job is started now close it here our job is running for the protein preparation this is our ligand um, double click on it on name it as a ligand click on it now go to the lick prep search for the lick prep Open the lick preparation wizard, go to the file, select project file, it will select the lick preparation. Then uh, I will not generate the tautomer and I will use only one ligand because uh, it is only for demo purpose but your target is to screen the best pose. You can choose the number of pores to the highest level and you can also consider generating tautomer. Go to the wheel, click on the maximum of processor to finish the job quickly and click on the run our job is started so now our both job is running ligand preparation and protein preparation depending upon your laptop speed it may take few minutes our one job has been completed the ligand preparation has been completed this is our prepared ligand let us minimize but other job protein preparation is still running. Our protein preparation is also completed. The job is incorporated. This is our prepared protein. So our ligand is prepared and our protein is prepared. Now the next step is covalent docking. For covalent docking, go to the browse, go to glide, from the glide choose covalent docking here from the ligand choose file and from the file browse go to lick prep from the lick prep out.maegz the ligand we just prepared then we need to specify the residue which residue we are interested this is the main question normally for the residue, 
we will uh, select a molecule which can bind covalently most probably the cysteine can be an ideal situation in this case we are interested in cysteine 107 let let have a look this is the residue this is our cysteine you can simply scroll down and choose the cysteine double click on it it will be highlighted we are interested in cysteine 107 so you can simply type a colon 107 or you can choose pick from the pick you can select this molecule it will automatically chosen as 107 or other way you can also select in it to choose the right molecule once you have choose the molecule then you need to generate the grid box around it click on this center right selected residue specify residue click on select click on the sequence from the sequence this is our cysteine 107 this is cysteine 107 click on add and click ok again this is the window new window will appear from here click 107 16 and press ok so our molecule has been selected you can see a grid box has been generated around it we have selected the ligand we have selected the target residue now we are going to choose the reaction from here you need to choose the reaction like Michael addition or you can choose nucleophilic addition nucleophilic substitution for demo purpose we choose let's suppose Michael addition and then here is the core constraint torsional constraint if you want to add or docking parameter you want to define if not just simply select the maximum number of processor to complete the job press ok and click on the done button it says that no ligand match the reaction type Michael addition which means this reaction is not applicable on this type of reaction so you will need we will need we will try the substitution reaction and run you need to find out the correct reaction for your molecule so in this case the addition is not possible but substitution is possible for this you need a strong chemistry background to identify the molecule our job is started our job is running over here depending upon your computer speed the size of the protein and the ligand and the number of interaction and the reaction it may take 30 minutes up to 2 hours or even 3 or 4 hours depending upon the reaction it can also go to the 4 to 5 hours to complete the one job so let it be finished we just select it to the master default to make it like that our docking has been complete you can see here we have three poses that appeared let me hide this one this is the pose if you click over here this is the ligand this is UNK 900 go over here and click the 2d overlay from the 2d overlay right click on the view in ligand interaction diagram from ligand interaction diagram you can see the molecule has been covalently bonded with the cysteine 107 if you want to save this diagram just simply click on the this icon and save for image you can save the name as interactions into png file if you want to change the pixels and so on or you want the transparent background you can save it here it is an also an option you can see the lid information which is showing you the type of bonding you can save it unk 900 it has given it the name the new ligand it has just generated it is asking you the path where you want to save uh, we want to save it on the desktop 
with our demo and yes save it our file has been saved now to make it simple i just need to hide this overlay the overlay has been hided and also this one when i click on this one you will see the ligand here is the ligand double click on the ligand the ligand is highlighted go to the style choose this one and give it to color to the green which means this this is your ligand you can choose the ligand this is the ligand and this is our main interaction you are going to see the interaction you can click on this one it will highlight the bond you are going to see this is the bond you can adjust the view or you can simply click on this one it will give the complete ligand or it can be rotated so this is the ligand you can also choose this ligand or this ligand in the same way you need to define the ligand position and the style and give it to the color to the green this is the ligand and this is the interaction this is the interaction if you want to save this image in this current state just right click on it and save the image it will save the image to your current directory it will ask you how you want to save i just saved it using the default setting then if you want some more option you can see save camera view you can save rotatable view and so on then you can click on this bond this bond this is basically the cysteine and this is the carbon this is the bond between cysteine and the carbon you, when you click on the middle of this bond it will be selected from the both side right click on it and then switch to atom in and you can go to style and apply label it will show you that this is cysteine 107 similarly you can focus fit to the focus it is focus your ligand and your amino acid and your bonding you can also choose use the builder option to uh, change it draw it name it move it and so on there are a lot of options you can do it then the other important thing is the table if you go to the table you can see here this is the C doc affinity minus 2.7 minus 2 minus 4.3 the lower the negative value the better it is which means the best docking pose is minus 4.3 this is the covalent docking affinity which means this pose is bonded strongly as compared to other and this is the docking score even the docking score is also better you can also see other properties from here show or hide uh, like prime energy and potential energy and so on the other thing you want to do is click on the ligand and then right click export molecule and the spreadsheets from the spreadsheet select excel sheet and give it to the name like one and save it full with include 2d shapes and export it let me show you minimize this is the excel sheet we have just saved this is showing all the information this is our 2d ligand 2d structure the entry name protein name bonding structure all the information is present in the excel sheet you can save the information and use as per your thesis and publication parameters this is the file we saved in the interaction view you can uh, increase the size or pixel this is the image we saved from the pose viewer you can change the pose according to the need there is one thing we need to save is right click on this ligand then export from the export go to structures from the structure change the name covalent 
dot pdb and from this one choose as pdb and export the molecule has been exported to your demo structure this is our covalent dog pdb structure you can open it any software like discovery studio or the pymol let me show you quickly how it can be viewed in the pymol as in the discovery studio this is the outface of discovery studio you can see the ligand interaction and you can show the 2d diagram this is the 2d diagram of the protein similarly you can view it in the pymol this is the pymol simply go to file open desktop from the desktop we have demo and we have covalent bonded dog protein this is our dog protein you can see the sequence this is your ligand you can also set reset it ligand site and cartoon it will show you the docking site and you can change according to your need this one is the quick demo that how you can use the covalent docking without the template you want a specific target but you need a strong chemistry background to identify what is your target what is your chemical reaction and what is your ligand this is all about today if you have any question please ask in the comment section please like and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you so much for watching allah hafiz